Hey guys, welcome to Skilllink. In one of our previous videos, we talked about gas tungsten arc welding, which is also known as TIG welding. TIG welding is a type of welding process where the electrode used is not consumable. TIG welding is mostly used in applications which require extremely high precision of welding. But this has a downside. With high precision, the speed at which TIG welding can be done is reduced. Now, what if we want a welding procedure that has a high welding precision and is also fast? This is where gas metal arc welding comes into play. Gas metal arc welding is normally called metal inert gas welding or MIG. Similar to TIG welding, the shielding of the metal is achieved by flushing the welding surface with inert gases like argon or helium. In this type of welding, the electrode is consumable. The electrode is fed into the torch through a spool. When the machine is turned on, an arc is generated between the electrode and the workpiece. Due to the high temperature of the arc, the electrode and the workpiece melt. This causes the molten electrode to drip onto the workpiece and solidify. To ensure that the arc remains constant and the electrode does not run out, the spool of wire rotates continuously to ensure that the electrode is fed. The diameter of the electrode wire ranges from 1 mm to 6.5 mm. The wire thickness is dependent on the size of the parts to be joined. The gas that is used for shielding is flushed into the system along with the electrode. Selection of these gases depend on many factors. For example, argon is used when the welding is required to be of extremely good quality. This is because of two reasons. Argon is an inert gas and is also much heavier than air. Due to its weight, it will stay on the weld area for much longer, while its inert gas properties prevent the welding joint from reacting with the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is also a common shielding gas used in MIG welding and the only one that can be used in its pure form without the addition of an inert gas. Carbon dioxide is also the least expensive of the shielding gases, making it an attractive choice when material costs are the main priority. Pure carbon dioxide provides very deep weld penetration, which is useful for welding thick materials. However, it also produces a less stable arc and more spatter. So, to get the best of two worlds, most welders use a mixed gas which has both carbon dioxide and argon. Due to the fast pace at which this type of welding can be done, it is most commonly used to mass produce components. MIG welding is also among the few types of welding processes that can be automated with the help of robots. This is mainly due to the continuous feed of electrode material into the weld pool. The inert gas for this welding procedure is stored in cylindrical containers at high pressure. Their flow is generally controlled by regulator valves. Similar to most other types of arc welding that we've discussed up until now, MIG welding can be done with either a DC power source or an AC power source. Well, that's it for this video. We'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye.